In my recent video on two-way versus three-way speakers, I, I had a couple of uh, interesting responses in the comments. One um, was asking about, what about a two-and-a-half-way speaker? Of course, I didn't cover that in that video, so I thought I would quickly talk about what a two-and-a-half-way speaker is and if there's any benefit to it. So, unfortunately, I, don't, I, I can't fit a big enough speaker to show you an example of, of what you would have as a two-and-a-half-way speaker, but typically what those configurations are is two identically sized woofers instead of a woofer mid and tweeter would have two identical woofers. So let's just picture instead of this five and a quarter inch mid-range that we had another six and a half inch woofer like this one in this cabinet and a single tweeter. And it could be a bookshelf or a floor stander, it doesn't matter. But the idea is, is that the two base drivers or mid-base drivers are of identical size. And in normal configurations, both of those woofers will extend down to whatever the low frequency limit is of the system. So you get the benefit of two woofers acting and producing bass at low frequencies. Where the two and a half way comes in is instead of having a single crossover point for both woofers so that both woofers go up, extend up into the mid range and then cross over to the tweeter, we'll take the bottom woofer and roll it off a little bit earlier, maybe 200, 400 hertz, and then only the upper woofer actually crosses over to the tweeter. So this is where the term two and a half way. It's not a true three way because there isn't a band pass crossover on the second driver. And also the problem with the two and a half way, even though there are obvious benefits, you get benefits in terms of um, you know, base extension, because you've got those two woofers working together, you probably have higher output capability. And one of the biggest benefits, in addition to having a vertical response family that's going to look better because of less cancellation between those two woofers, because they're not operating up high in frequency, only one of them is, is something called intermodulation distortion. And if you think about it, if that upper and lower driver are carrying base frequencies and the upper driver is going up into the mid-range, that's one of, the, one of the reasons why a two and a half way can never be as good as a true three-way system. That upper woofer or upper mid-woofer is producing base. And because it's also the same size as the other woofer, you don't have the benefit of wider, uh, wider horizontal dispersion that you would have of a smaller mid-range driver like this five and a quarter. But back to this intermodulation distortion, that driver that's crossing over directly to the tweeter, because it's carrying bass, it can actually cause almost a flutter um, or a, a juddering sound if it's producing you know, very low bass frequencies with high excursion at the same time as let's say there's female vocals or whatever, you can in some extreme cases actually hear those mid-range frequencies coming from that driver modulating. Now in, in good designs, obviously we try to make sure that doesn't happen, but that's also something that can impact two-way designs and it's something I didn't talk about in the last video. So thank you for asking that question about a two and a half way and I hope that that answers and clears up what a two and a half way speaker is. Thank you as always for commenting and watching.